well enough alone. Let's get out of the markets. Let them heal you know, on their own. I just want to buy another minute and a half on this uh, to my wonderful producers who want to close this down. You guys are going to come back. But look, I want to continue this point. Joe Avornia, um, our friend Mike Dart is a great contributor to CNBC and this program and so forth. You know him well. He makes the case that when you look at the money market spreads, LIBOR and whatnot, when you look at the credit market and the corporate bond spreads narrowing enormously, that today's story is completely unlike it was a year ago in 2008, and that this stock market correction is backed up by very promising bond market rallies in corporate bonds and also down the lower end of the curve in LIBOR. And therefore, Joe, Darda makes the case that profits in the next year, 2010, I'm not talking about this next month or quarter, profits are going to improve and the stock market is a buy. What do you make of Mr. Darda's analysis? I, I think he's right, Larry. I think credit spreads are key. You mentioned LIBOR, very important rate. Those have all improved. The markets are working again. I think, I think Mike is right. If not a year, maybe six quarters, it's right. getting better. Right. Here, here. I, I agree with him. I think he's right on, and I think Darda's right on. I think if you really want to do something with this stimulus that's been out there, you take a look at that 10% that that's already been spent, and we've got an, a slight improvement in the economy so far. We're not out of a contraction yet, but I think we're on the road to recovery. Take that 90% that hasn't been spent and redistribute it in that, in that stimulus package. Take that money and really turn it into good use building bridges and roads and schools no return just it cancel it yeah return, return it. it that's I good agree. use return it give it back to us give it we'll back. use you it you know my you second get treasury yields will come down on that mortgage rates will come down i, I should be better. i have a second stimulus package i've always said it's called an across the board reduction in marginal tax rates for everybody and by the way jerry boyer i mean yes. i'm going to be wrong there's no way that's going to happen i acknowledge that i just say i put it on the table i'm willing to overlook the deficit if the money we're spending so-called would be put to better use on lower tax rates so people could have their own money. But here's the thing. My good friend Charlie Rangel is saying rich people are going to pay a surtax to finance health care. Over in the Senate side, they're talking about raising capital gains and dividends and the tax rate on upper income people above and beyond what Obama is saying to finance health care. So what you got here, uh, Robert is right, you got some real redistribution. It's just not the redistribution he's looking for. And Jerry, this stuff is all anti-growth. Every piece of this is anti-growth. They're going to be raising taxes above England, France, right. Germany, in Italy in order to support nationalized health care, which, Jerry, strikes me as a social policy, has nothing to do with economic growth. Yeah, the redistribution is a redistribution from the edge to the center, from the market to politics. That doesn't work. It's corruption. We're frozen because of it. The, the, the worst thing right now is more stimulus. The stimulus is what's keeping us from having a boom of a recovery. That's why we have such a weak recovery, because right. of the stimulus. All right, hang on, everybody. Uh, Jerry, Robert, Joe, you got much more work to do. Coming up is the Fed deflating the money supply and therefore the stock market. I want to go into this in my Cudlow 101 because I think there's a reason why the reflation trade has backfired and the market is off 7 8% in the last month or so. The Cudlow report is coming right back. Since I believe in free market capitalism, I say, folks, you should get to spend your own money. Thank you very much. Not the SBA or the other pointy-headed bureaucrats down in Washington, D.C. We will be right back to explain.